Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2, and it reads, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear of rule, the people mourn. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bear part two of a lesson I did earlier through the Spirit called um, People Are Doing Bad Out Here. And this is the main reason. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when you got the wicked, Sleazy E, Esau, Edom, when you got them ruling, the people mourn. I was thinking about it. I was going to try to do this lesson when I was at work, my lunch break lesson. But things happen and things don't always go as planned. That's why we always say Lord's will. We do this. Lord's will. We do that. Right. Bear with me. But but nonetheless, you know what I'm saying? We're doing it now, Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. But it's one of the main reasons. Now, the God of the Bible, he's controlling everything, but the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. And you, you see how things are going. On the other lesson I did this morning, we went to like um, hyperinflation, things of that nature. And, and people are doing bad out here. The, the so-called Native American Indians, they're still on reservations with no running water. Because the wicked bear fruit, everybody mourns. No morals. People do anything. No standards. You look, look, you gotta be old as hell to retire. So this this is not living. This is basically us surviving. All right? Surviving. What are we doing? We're just surviving. Don't don't call it living. We call this just surviving, man. All right. Once again, Proverbs 29 and 2, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear through the people more, and it's only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse. Let's get this. Let's just get this. St. Matthew, it's, it's, it's only going to get worse. It ain't going to stop. It ain't going to stop. The only way this is going to stop is when the wicked get taken out of power. Because the Lord is going to put one over the earth, a ruler over the earth. This is going to be profitable to the earth, going to be profitable to the people. St. Matthew chapter 24. Let me just say some points and I'm going to wrap it up. This is part two. St. Matthew chapter 24, verse six. And you should hear wars and rumors of war. I see all kind of homeless people today. Uh, uh, right after I pretty much uploaded the video. Like probably like 30 minutes later. I mean, I mean, bad, bad. When I say homeless, I mean homeless. Bad. Could, couldn't get no lower. Couldn't get no lower. And then, and then adding these things that I'm reading in the scriptures right here. And you should hear wars and rumors of wars. Anytime, um, it costs money. To fight a war costs money. The things get expensive. It's all no what? Natural resources, man. You need war. The Lord said wars and rumors of wars. You got wars actually popping off, and talks of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For the little, because evils and only evils, greater evils than the things that we're seeing now, is it's coming down the pipeline. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence, more diseases. You got a heavy bag bug infestation over here in Babylon. Heavy rat infestation. The Lord hitting this place with the ancient plagues of Egypt, ancient Egypt. Hidden, hidden modern day spiritual Egypt and Sodom, aka America, Babylon, and Great, hidden, hidden this place with the same plagues if, as ancient Egypt, man, and even worse. And earthquakes in diverse places. Should an earthquake come through, tear everything up, it takes months, even years 
to bring everything to some kind of normalcy. All of these are the beginning of sorrows. And then on top of that, like, I, I, let's, let's go to 21. Let's go to 21. Matter of fact, we'll go to 12. St. Matthew 24, 12. And because iniquity shall abound, wickedness, sin upon sin. Remember, I, I, I mentioned no morals. These people don't love each other. The love of many then wax cold already. The love of many shall wax cold. All right? Cold. Bear with me. I want, to, I want to go to the blue ladder on this one. This is St. Matthew 24 and um, 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Let's get the definition for the word cold in the blue ladder. Let's go here. Let's see. Cold. Little, little, little psycho. You see it right there, Psycho. You see it right there where it says shall wax cold psycho. You 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 don't you don't see that going on. You'll see these people acting psychotic towards each other. People are doing bad out here. And, look, look, and the thing about it, it ain't even really popped off yet. You see that though. For the definition for the word cold in the blue letter is psycho Israel. People doing bad out here. People eating out of dumpster diving. You're hearing about um, grocery stores, you know what I'm saying? The power cutting off and they're throwing all the stuff into the dumpster. And you got hundreds on top of hundreds on top of hundreds of people fighting for the food. Because shit is that expensive. Hyperinflation and kicked in already. Hell, I just left the grocery store, you know what I'm saying, a couple of hours ago. Just left the grocery store a couple of hours ago. For um, 16 eggs, damn near $10 down here, man. Down here in Raleigh. You, you, but, but oh yeah, don't nobody want to watch the news, right? Stay away from the news. That's what these other Israelite groups are saying. Why y'all watching the news? Why y'all looking up news articles? So we know what the hell going on. We know what time it is. And we'll link it up with the scriptures. That's why. So let's go back to St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. And it reads, For then shall be great tribulation, such was as such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. People ain't, they ain't hearing what the scriptures are saying. The scriptures say, look, look, greater evils, man. Great tribulation never seen before on the face of the earth. That's what you people are getting ready to find yourself involved in. The worst time to be on the earth, pretty much. All right? The worst time to be on the earth. And then the Lord said, I'm going to leave you there too. Going right back to Revelation 9 and 6. We bring it out all the time. Matter of fact, let's just get it. Let's just get it right quick and come back, Lord's willing. Because people are doing bad out here. Oh, yeah. Um, and I got this title, no sense, from the elder bishop, Manatazat. He, he threw it out there and in, a, um, in a lesson that he did yesterday. And, and I'm running with it, Lord willing. Revelation chapter 9, verse 6. And it reads, And in those days, when all hell break loose, Jacob's trouble, Jacob's trouble, martial law, the hour of temptation, and in those days shall men seek death. Because it's going to get that bad out here. You know you got to be seeing something show enough crazy to want to wanna, to wanna uh, just be like, yo, that hell with it, yo. I don't even want to be on the earth no more. You got to be seeing something drastic. Fe fearful sights and everything, right? And shall not find it. They're going to seek to die and not find it. They're going to seek death, man. And shall not find it. And shall desire to die, and death shall flee from thee. Going, going right back to Second Edges, um, fourteen and sixteen. Greater evil, more bad times than the times that we're seeing now, shall come upon the face of the earth. You know, you know, it's got to be bad. People want to off theyself. You, you know that Israel, St. Matthew 24, jump on down again. St. Matthew 24, 21, for then shall be great tribulation. 
such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. Take all, and we, we go through this through the spirit of your how, by Shemel Shah all the time. Take all the different time periods and put them together. And the Lord said they can't compare. The Lord said it's going to be worse than a flood, man. It's going to be worse than Sodom and Gomorrah when that fire and that brimstone hit it. Sodom and Gomorrah in the neighboring cities, it was five cities total. The Lord said it's going to be worse than that. It's going to be worse than the flood. It's going to be worse than the 70 AD. We need the Lord. And except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. That's how bad it's going to get. This man going to come down with great wrath, sleazy E. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be short. It's, it's all about the elect. The elect is going to get delivered. And we pretty much the only ones, starting off with the, the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone, we pretty much the only ones to be saying something about the elect. You got these other Israelite groups, all Israel, all Israel, all Israel. Now you see everybody slowly but surely trying to, you know what I'm saying, slide in that MOTB, you know what I'm saying, to the BBB in that conversation. Now, you, you, you notice that, Israel? At first, it's June. Ain't no C hip. Ain't no micro C hip. But, but now, look, we see you. The Lord hell, the Lord see you. He, he, he see it all, man. Let's go here, man. See you other Israelite groups, man. All of a sudden, y'all trying to throw that M-O-T-B-B-B-B in there, man. We see you. One minute, ain't no Jacob trouble. The next thing you know, it's Jacob trouble. One minute, it's June. Ain't no micro C hip. Now, now look. Now, now it's one. All of a sudden, G golly whiz, right? Hebrews chapter 10. Because the Lord is orchestrating all this. We we'll remember on, on part one, I'm saying you go back there. We read Proverbs um, 21 and 1. The king's heart, meaning his mind, is in the hand of the Lord. And he, and he turned it fit whithersoever he will, right? So the things that you see going on in the, on the face of the earth right about now, yeah, Sleazy E is acting it, acting it out. But who's actually controlling Sleazy E? Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. People are doing bad out here. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, especially when the Lord is controlling everything. I just want to bring this out right quick, just proving that. We go through it all the time. Sirach chapter 11, also known as Ecclesiastic, Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 11, verse 14. Let's just bring this up. Prosperity and adversity, life and death, Poverty and riches, remember, people are doing bad out here. Poverty and riches come of the Lord. You see somebody sleeping on a park bench, or you see somebody sleeping in front of a church, or you see somebody riding through in a Cadillac, or a nice car, or you you walking past a through a neighborhood or whatever, and you see people with these nice houses and all that. It's all being orchestrated by the Lord. You see, you you ride, you walking, or either you riding. You see, that's how you know you see a whole bunch of funeral home limousines with a long line of cars behind it. Or you see people at the park, things of that nature. It's all being controlled by the Lord. Prosperity and adversity, life and death. You catching hell that came from the Lord. Your life is pretty much going pretty much well. That come from the Lord. Life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. And then let's, let's get this. Let's just get this. And I still got a whole lot of scriptures left through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. But look, look, people are doing bad, but it's always hope. We got the Lord, man. King David said, I've been old and I've been young, but I ain't never seen the righteous lacking or begging bread. You see? So we're here to comfort our people with this word. Even though people are doing bad out here, Isaiah 45 and 7, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil, meaning these bad times. I, the Lord, all caps, the most high, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, do all these things. So, so the Lord is controlling everything.
And if the Lord wants you to do bad, damn it, you're going to do bad. The Lord don't want you to have nothing to eat. You look, you're not going to have nothing to eat. And they go for anybody. Second Ezra chapter 8, I want to hear the point. Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 50. Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 50. And it reads, for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world. And we're living in the latter time, of the latter times. We're, we're the end of an age. Second Ezra 6 and 9. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followed, right? So we're living in the last days of the last days of this age, of sleazy East age, man. And the Lord says he's going to bring great misery upon it. And I get that definition because I know Israel ain't going to get it. Hell, Israel barely want to watch a video like this. M misery, a state or feeling of great distress. Are, are we not seeing this on the face of the earth? Are we not seeing this, Israel? A state or feeling of great distress or discomfort of mind or body. Are, are we not seeing this? Hell, everybody going through it right about now. Sufferings, afflictions. People are doing bad out here. Anguish, anxiety. One of my favorite words, anxiety, a feeling or worry, nervousness or unease, typically about an imminent event or something with an uncertain outcome. And that, that's what happens when the wicked is ruling. You, you don't know hell, you don't even know if you're gonna have a job tomorrow. You don't know if you're gonna be able to pay that rent come next month. You don't know if you're gonna have water, lights. You you don't know. You don't know if you're gonna live. People are nervous as hell right about now. I don't know what the hell just happened, but yeah, a feeling of worry, nervousness, or unease, typically about an imminent event or something with an uncertain outcome, and that's that's anxiety for you. So I'm going to read this again. Everything is being orchestrated by the God of the Bible. And we ain't seen nothing yet. Second Edges 8 and 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in their world because they have walked in great pride. And pride always go before destruction and in the hearty spirit before fall. And every time, every time. This is, and that's why we got to constantly pray. And you go to Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter, it, go, it goes into it, them curses, man. It's, it's upon Israel for real, for real. Negroes, Latins, and they're making them curses, showing up riding us now. Well, but we're here to preach the gospel. Let's, let's see what I want before I close. Let's get this. I'm going to get second. I'm going to get second Ezra, the 16th chapter. I'm going to get in the regular Bible, then I'm getting into good news. 2nd Ezra chapter 16. We'll start at verse 18. Well, we'll start at 17. Woe is me, woe is me, destruction, destruction. Who would deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. I thought it was the good book, though. I thought it was a good book. Though. I thought everything uh, written up in here was, was going to make people feel so good inside. It says the beginning of famines, man, and great death. It's going to be bodies, you know what I'm saying, scattered everywhere soon come. Men, women, and children. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Pray to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. The Lord willing will count it worthy to escape all these things. Going right back to St. Luke 21 and 36. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for a moment. But for all these things, they should not turn from their wickedness. So no, so no matter how bad it get, certain people are just not going to turn from their wickedness. They're going to continue on with the nonsense. You see, 
Hell, they continue in there. Hell, everything is expensive as long as nowhere. Look how these people, hey, these people, are, these wicked people on the face of the earth, they had like nothing ain't happening. They had like everything just as normal, normal as can be. Everything's all hunky dory, all hell breaking loose. You better can put food on your table right about now. And people still acting like assholes. Behold, victuals shall be so good, cheap upon earth. You can pretty much still find you a good, decent meal. That they shall think themselves to be in a good case. Oh, everything's all right. Everything's, hell, eggs going back down. Chicken is going to be good next month. Everything going back to being normal. That's what these people say. That's what these people think. That, that's what they think. And even then, when you think it's all lovey-dovey, oh, yeah, well, we're going to vote some new people in, and they're going to make the economy better for us. And even then, shall evils grow, meaning bad times grow upon the earth. Sword, famine, and great confusion. These people are going to bug the hell out. They ain't going to know what to do. They're going to want answers, but it's going to be too late. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. You think people are doing bad right about now? You ain't seen nothing yet. And these people show no stink, man. Straight up. Hell, ain't gonna be no running water soon come. And hell, it ain't gonna be no McDonald's, no cookout. Man. These women ain't going to have no personal um, hygiene products. Uh, look, imagine that. You ain't going to have no fake-ass nails in that day. You ain't going to have no eye. Um, hey, I was at Walmart every day. I didn't only seen two normal-looking women in Walmart. And I, and I mean, this thing was packed. You got Israel buying all these damn flowers for them Valentine's Day. Every woman wants to be worshipped right about now. Don't do nothing but just sit around on their lazy ass. But oh yeah, every time some a holiday, a fake, a pagan day come up, oh yeah, we we, we gotta just go out there and get them some. Are y'all you serious? I said I was in Walmart. Walmart, man, damn, look like a million people was up in there earlier. Only two women look normal out of all them damn women. And you women out there, y'all got some funny ass shaped bodies. All right? Just to throw that out there to you. You got some funny ass shaped bodies. But anyway, you, people just in there just shopping their asses off, using all their husbands' money. So everybody think it's all lovey-dovey, right? The Lord said when you think it's all lovey-dovey, evils are going to crease Evils are going to increase upon the earth. Sword and famine and great confusion. And many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish, meaning die of famine. And the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And like I mentioned, you got to be older. I was talking to a brother earlier. You got to be damn near dead just to retire. And you Israelites out there, don't think don't think this devil gonna give you no reparations either. And like the brother had mentioned, had he sent eighteen billion dollars, no saying more than that, I'm pretty sure, to Ukraine, but can he but didn't he give you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans a damn food stamp card? It's still on the books, right? It's still on the books, right? We're thinking about helping you out. We're thinking about helping you out. That's what they're saying, Israel. They ain't going to help you out. Our only help is the Lord. Let Israel hope in the Lord. Let you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans hope in the Lord. Because when the righteous bear fruit, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. Then let's get this last one, and then I'm going to close. Second Andrew chapter 16. This is the good news. Second Andrew chapter 16, verse 17. I'm doomed. I'm doomed. Who will rescue me in those days? Troubles will come. Not might. You see? Troubles will come, and many people will groan. Famine will come. And many will die. 
wars will come. Don't tarry, wait for it. And the world's powers will tremble. Disaster will come. And everyone will be terrified. They, they ain't scared yet, though, but they will be. What will people do when these disasters come? Panic they ass off. Panic they ass off. Famine, epidemics, troubles, and suffering are sent to punish and correct people. But in spite of all this, they will not turn away from their sins. They soon forget their punishments. The Lord said uh, to you Israelites, the Lord keeps stricking you, keep whooping you and whooping you, whooping you, whooping you. You still ain't lamented yet. You still ain't turned back yet. The time is coming when food will be so cheap that people will think a time of peace and plenty has arrived. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. Remember that? First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. But then disasters will spring up everywhere. Wars, famine, and great confusion. Many people on earth will starve to death. Did you hear that, Israel? People are doing bad out here. It's going to get worse, though. Many people on earth will starve to death. And those who escape starvation will be killed in war. Are you hearing that, Israel? Are, are, are you hearing that? Hyperinflation kicking in. You did shit. We, we're at the end of this age. It's, it's getting ready to be horrible. People are going to seek death and death is going to flee from them. People are doing bad out here. Shalom. Part two.